okay guys welcome back to the new video which is about uh, the design of rc wall against hydrostatic pressure the data is uh, uh, the wall is 15 feet uh, high and uh, 30 feet in length and its thickness is uh, 1 feet and it is subjected to the hydrostatic pressure and uh, before uh, uh, going into the depth and starting the design uh, let me very briefly tell you about the uh, why why we are considering the wall and not the uh, complete water tank because uh, you can uh, design the water tank by just designing one of its sides right uh, basically there are three types of water tanks uh, the first one uh, is uh, submerged or underground water tank and it is different than the other two types which are the on ground water tank and the overhead water tank because uh, in both of these types there is uh, no uh, outside pressure no external pressure on the walls of the tank and there is only the uh, the fluid pressure or the water pressure uh, f uh, from within uh, uh, the tank and uh, the pressure will be maximum when the tank is filled and the pressure will be minimum when the tank is empty but uh, conversely uh, in this case uh, uh, this tank this submerged tank is surrounded by the soil all the times and the worst case will be when the tank is empty because uh, the maximum pressure will be acting on the walls of the tank when it is empty and when it is filled the the hydrostatic pressure will resist this uh, literal earth pressure so uh, one important thing is that uh, uh, you know uh, where your tank is uh, located and what type of uh, pressure is acting on it okay the first thing is this and uh, while you consider uh, whether your tank is uh, to be designed as a cantilever retaining wall for example the side of the tank is to be designed as a cantilever retaining wall or it is to be designed as uh, uh, the wall uh, with the fixed sides so it depends on the boundary conditions and uh, it depends on uh, your uh, uh, construction technique uh, if for example consider this tank a b c d right and uh, all the walls or all the sides of the walls uh, have been uh, subjected to uh, same kind of uh, hydrostatic pressure and uh, consider this wall a b uh, right over here uh, the pressure is acting on it and uh, which causes the bending movement and tension in the wall right and uh, this is the hydrostatic pressure along the depth and uh, due to this uh, the bending movement is just like this now uh, this wall AB if it is not properly connected to this wall AD and BC then uh, you can uh, design or you can model this wall AB as uh, fixed at the support or uh, fixed at the base and uh, there are no supports uh, at the uh, sides of the walls right just like this case uh, where your wall is fixed at the base and it is uh, not uh, connected at the sides or at the top in this case uh, uh, you can uh, join uh, or you can uh, construct uh, the walls at the sides and make it watertight uh, uh, but uh, structurally the wall will not uh, help uh, or it will not uh, support the other walls right this is the first case in the second case when the walls are properly connected for example uh, if the proper uh, reinforced uh, reinforcement is continued and the concreting is uh, monolithic and uh, all the arrangements are made then uh, the wall AB will be supported by wall AD and BC at its uh, sides and the boundary conditions will be like this where your wall is fixed at the base as well as fixed at the sides right and uh, it will be free at the top because uh, at the top there are uh, different uh, arrangements for example this is your water tank and if you made some arrangement uh, uh, you, you if you put uh, a top uh, which provides some kind of uh, resistance to uh, to deformation then you can consider it as a hinge support and you can uh, apply the hinge support at the top and if uh, the reinforcement uh, of this wall is continue uh, into the slab or the top uh, uh, of this uh, tank and the concreting is done monolithically then you can consider it as fixed as well and the case will be like the base the sides as well as the top is fixed right so 
now uh, let's start modeling the wall uh, please make sure the units are kept fit your uh, uh, the your unit is fit and uh, select this option wall right now here uh, as per our given data the length of the wall is uh, 30 feet and the height of the wall is 15 feet and uh, I want to make it uh, one by one right the divisions are one by one uh, in both x and z direction and click ok so this is your uh, wall which is a shell element uh, by default it is taking it as a shell element i am closing the 3d view uh, for now to make it uh, uh, more clear this is your wall model and uh, uh, as a first step i will make sure that the base of the wall is fixed right so i have selected all the uh, joints and uh, assign joint and restrain and uh, i will select the fixed condition and select ok so i have fixed its base all right now uh, as a second step i will go to define menu to make sure the properties of the concrete modify show material and uh, select the keep inch right the value is almost 3600 uh, ksi okay and the poisson's ratio is 0 0.2 okay so i have made sure that the material properties are okay now uh, go to the define menu and select this joint patterns and here you can you can add a new pattern with the name uh, whatever you want to give it to the name for example the hydro right so you can make it hydro i think the d alphabet is not working on my keyboard so this is a new pattern that uh, you have uh, just uh, introduced okay now go to uh, this uh, select all button and uh, click it uh, you have selected the entire wall right and go to the assign menu and select this joint pattern that you have just defined now when you click it this window will open and uh, you will be uh, you will select this hydro right from the pattern name now there are two options the pattern assignment type where you can uh, define it by XYZ multipliers uh, the pattern values what are XYZ XYZ are the coordinates uh, and uh, a b c d are the constants right so there is a equation a x plus b y plus c z plus d uh, let me take you to the definition of this a yeah so what are this x y z multiplier method the a b c and d are your constants right and uh, you can edit uh, you can put the values in these boxes but since uh, there is uh, the the hydrostatic pressure only uh, varies along the depth you can see that it is varying along the depth which is the z axis so therefore uh, you put the values in the c because c is with the uh, z uh, and d is uh, a, a constant without any any dimension right so ax plus by is not the case of hydrostatic pressure in our case uh, we will be considered with the cz plus d what is cz cz is this pressure and d is this constant pressure right why cz is a, a, a triangular because cz uh, c is the constant value and z is the depth so when z for example here z is zero and when z is increasing so the pressure is increasing but you can see that this pressure is uh, opposite to that of the uh, hydrostatic pressure because hydrostatic pressure is always minimum at the top and maximum at the bottom therefore we add it with this constant pressure and as a result the result of these two uh, pressures is this hydrostatic pressure so to obtain this hydrostatic pressure we used this cz plus d all right so uh, this is how uh, in sap uh, we define the hydrostatic pressure on the on the wall the units of the constants this a b and c are one by length because z is also a length y is also a length and x is also a length so c is one by length and z is length so uh, the resultant will be a unitless okay d is also unitless and the calculated pattern is a unitless value uh, right 
so as an example of this assignment method the following input defines so by this method we also uh, define our uh, constants for example in this case our uh, pressure at the top uh, for example it is uh, the c i define the c as minus 1 right so the total uh, depth is 15 and therefore i want this to be a 15 uh, of 15 kip of constant pressure and this minus 1 will increase with the depth so at the top this 15 will cancel out this 15 and there will be a zero pressure uh, lateral pressure on the top and there will be a maximum pressure of 15 at the bottom right so use all values option is selected and add to existing value since we haven't defined any load so you can uh, uh, check or uh, any of these values okay uh, click ok and I have defined this pattern C now again go to the select all and once it is selected go to the assign menu uh, go to the join area loads sorry and select this surface pressure now uh, select this by joint pattern and in pattern select the hydro and uh, you know the, un uh, the unit weight of water which is uh, 0 0.0624 because we are uh, working in the kips right so you can check it by going to the pounds so it is 62.4 right so uh, make sure the face is stop and click ok now our load has been assigned just to check whether it is assigned correctly just uh, rotate it and you can see the uh, the size of the arrow which is minimum at the top and maximum at the bottom so a triangular load has been assigned to this wall you can make it uh, a solid so this is your wall now you can simply just uh, analyze it go to uh, the analysis menu select this model and do not run the case and it will ask you to save the model and uh, go uh, go ahead and save the model uh, whatever name suits you uh, for simplicity I just gave it a name of 6 right and uh, I have saved it uh, it is saved it is analyzed and uh, if you want to check the uh, results you can select the 3d and you just start animation see how beautifully it is uh, showing you uh, the acting of the pressure in out of plane direction right so okay stop the animation and uh, again uh, if you want to check the results just click at any joint and you will see the uh, displacement of the joint in uh, two direction for example in our case the out of plane is a two direction right so you can click on any joint and you can uh, check the, its uh, deformation right for instance I have check it for you for example the joint with the uh, 256 has this um, value and the joint 248 which is uh, uh, around, uh, at the middle of the wall has 0 0.01 uh, feet of uh, displacement right now uh, if you want to check the stresses in this wall so you can check it uh, you can check the resultant forces you can check the shell stresses and you can also check the concrete design for example uh, in concrete design you can check the area of steel in one direction uh, for example the longitudinal direction and area of steel in the transverse direction so I want to check it in the transverse direction click OK and see this is your area of steel for example uh, if you want to change the units from kip feet to kip inch it gives you the value for example click on this one and uh, it will gives you the value on the top face right so your uh, reinforcement value it will be this and if you want to check the absolute maximum value so this is your absolute maximum value in this wall which is at the bottom 0 0.066 square inches per inch and at the top of this element this one fit element it is 0 0.054 square inch per inch so in this way you can check uh, uh, different things for example the area of steel 
you can check the uh, area of steel in the one direction you can check the shell stresses for example just click it and it gives you the shell stresses also uh, you can check the resultant forces these are the resultant forces right so uh, you can check out uh, you can go to the design you can get whatever you want now the second step was that uh, if the sides are uh, fixed as well because this is the first condition just like I showed to you uh, uh, just uh, we, we just uh, uh, performed the analysis of this case right now the second case is what happened when the sides are also fixed so uh, just unlock this model select the sides right and uh, by selecting these sides uh, just uh, go to the assign menu and uh, joint restraints and make it fix so your sides are also fixed as well just keep all other details the same and run the analysis you have run the analysis once it is done uh, we will see the the difference see this is uh, very much different uh, than the previous uh, one right so go to the 3d and uh, go to the concrete design this is the concrete design which is uh, different than the previous design right because the the, the stresses have now been changed and uh, more concentrated to the to the sides as well uh, whereas previously the pattern was uh, along the length because at the top there was nothing and all the stresses were at the bottom but the pattern is now changed and uh, it can be changed uh, uh, when you apply different support conditions at the top as well for example I unlock this model and uh, I select this as well the top and go to the assign joint now it's up to you whatever uh, you want to uh, assign the boundary conditions to the top if you applied only the uh, the uh, hinge support conditions or you want to make it fix it's up to you because it depends on your site conditions whatever suits you go to run analysis and uh, click run now and you will see the difference so when the analysis is completed you will check the results see the, the stresses are now more concentrated at the top as well because you have uh, fixed the top as well now please keep in mind that the pressure distribution is linear the minimum pressure is acting at the top and the maximum pressure is acting at the bottom and after that due to that pressure distribution and the uh, change in the support conditions or the boundary conditions the stress distribution uh, in the wall also changes and uh, similarly due to the change in, change in the stress distribution the steel requirement also changes right so uh, this is your steel requirement and if you want to check the shell stresses see the shell stresses and all other stresses are also changed so this was about the wall subjected to the hydrostatic pressure with the different boundary conditions and uh, i hope you have uh, enjoyed this video and uh, please let me know in the comment section uh, if you uh, want to make it more elaborative or you want uh, some other topics to be discussed. So thank you very much.